welcome back to my Time Value of Money series discussion using my teaching notes in conjunction with Chapter 6, The Spice on Intermediate Book, 7th edition. In this particular short podcast, I would like to look at solving for unknown interest rate or number of periods for future value of a single amount and present value of a single amount. Let's get started. Let's use some numbers we're familiar with. In our last podcast, we took $6,335 and grew it to be $10,000 using N equals 4 and I equals 12. Actually, that was from podcast 1. In podcast 2, we took 10000 and said, what's the present value of that? And we brought it back to 6335 The fund accumulation schedule looked like this. We started with 63.35 and we grew it to be $10,000. If you go from 63.35 and grow, you're using table one. If you know $10,000 and you want to get back to 63.55, you discount using table two. Let's start with these two numbers. Table one took We'll start here. Table 1 took the 63.35 and grew it for an interest factor from Table 1 where n equals 4 and i equals 12 and it grew to be $10,000, the future value. On Table 2, we knew that we had $10,000. We knew the future value but wanted to find out what it would be worth in the present. So we went to Table 2 and found the intercept to n equals 4 and i equals 12. It was 0.6355. We took 10,000 times that, and it gave us a present value of 63.55. So if we want to solve for an unknown, we can use table 2 or table 1. So we're assuming we know the present value, and we know the future value. Now you must know either the number of periods or the interest rate. But if you know one of these variables, you can find the other. If you start with table one in this example, take the future value, the amount on top, and the present value on the bottom. And since your future value is on top, that's telling you you're using the future value table. 10,000 divided by 6355 is 1.5735. You could now go to table 1, and if you knew n equals 4, you could read across until you found 1.5735. If you knew i equals 12, you could read down until you found the n as 1.5735. If you prefer to use table 2 to solve the same question, you put the present value number on top and divide it by 10,000 and it gives you an interest factor. You must know the n or the i so that you can get yourself to one of those rows or columns on the interest factor and find this number. I can see that I have a transposition right there and since that's going to be troublesome, I'm going to fix it much better. You know, I'm not the world's best typer. All of this can be kind of confusing. So I would like to solve this unknown formula. And I'm going to use table 1. And I'm going to say I have $10,000. And I know the future value is 10000 The present value is... 63.55. I know I have $6,355 now. I need $10,000 at the end of four years. What interest rate must I earn to get there? So I put 10000 on top, the future value, which I know will then take me to the future value table. I divide it out, and I come to 1.5735. And I already said I had five years, or four years, so I know I'm going to go to table 1, because table 1's on top, and I'm going to read across n equals 4 until I find that number, 
which is 1.57352, and it happens at 12%. So I know that I must earn 12% for four years to make that work. If I knew that I could earn 12%, and I was wondering how many years I would have to invest 6300 to get 10000 I could read down table 12 until I find 1.57 and then read across and I would see it would take four years. So you can use the tables to solve for N or I. You can also solve these on your calculator. You enter what's known and you solve for it now. Remember, you need to know the present value, the future value, and either the number of years or the interest rate to make this work. So enter 6,000, well first clear your registers, enter 6,355 as the present value, enter 10,000 as the future value, and then let's have you enter n equals 4 and solve for i. Press solve and you'll get i of 12%. Clear that out and try it again. Enter 6300 as the present value, 10,000 as the future value, and i equals 12%, and then solve for n. The calculator will leave for a minute, come back and tell you the number of years is 4. So it's really pretty simple to solve for the number of years or the interest rate. You can do it using a table or you can do it using your calculators. If you're going to do it using a table, remember if you put the future value on top to go to a future value to find the resulting interest factor, or if you put the present value on top, be sure to go to the present value table. Hey, thanks for joining me. Talk to you soon.